This episode of Stuck in Vermont is brought to you by Burlington College. Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days. My name's Ava Solberger. We're in Lake Elmore, Vermont, where we are going dog sledding with Ken Haggett and his peace pups. Dogs, they're always happy. I mean, every day I go out there, they're always wagging their tails and they're always like, hi. It's snowing, it's beautiful. We're out in the middle of nowhere. I'm freezing. And I'm about to be pulled by eight dogs in a toboggan. Um, really, it doesn't get much more Vermont than this. Hey. Usually whenever there's something going on, they get all excited. <laughs> They're pretty amazing athletes, and they can run 15, 20 miles an hour, almost 500 pounds that they're pulling, pretty much pulling their body weight. Well, it's about them having fun, you know. If they're not having fun, they're not going to do it. I've had a few people say, isn't it mean to make them run like that? And I say, you know, come, come for a ride, and you watch them when we hook them out, up or even show them a harness you know, see how crazy they get, the, how excited they are. There's no making them do it. If they don't want to run, they won't. Our first Siberian that we got, uh, Jake. I've been running dogs for about seven years now and uh, started with Ski Jar. I <clears throat> got more confident with the four dog team and got two more. So we went from six dogs to uh, 10 right there, boom. We've got 18 in the truck. All your fault, Jake. It's really different for people to get out there and be pulled by dogs. People from all over the world. We just actually yesterday we had a family from Wales, Florida. We've had people from South Africa, Ireland. Had people say that they you know changed their lives. I'm just a you know small part of it. Just along for the ride. This is a toboggan sled. You don't really have any way of steering the sled. The dogs that are steering are up up here. Well, the lead dogs have to listen, obviously, <coughs> since they're steering. G is right and Ha is left. G and she, boom, boom, Ha. The only control that I really have is braking. They're in the order that they would go on the sled, so these would be the dogs that are in the lead. Think about like who gets along well with who, like who's stronger. You want to try to get the two teams fairly equal. And the lead dog, you want them to ignore distraction. Doobie just wants to motivate. Exxon's really distractible, so I tend to run him and wheel. The rest in between, they call team dogs, and they're pretty much following who's in front of them. A lot of times people come and they say, do you actually know all these dogs' names? You know, I know their names, and I, you know, I know their voices. That's pretty distinct. You know that's Exxon. They're all Siberian Huskies. We really like the personality of the Siberians, so we've decided to stick with them. Kids have all seen snow dogs and eight below. And Siberians, since they like to run so much, can't really let them loose. They're very independent-minded, and it's also just that that desire to run. This is Doobie. Dubois. Monsieur Dubois. I think Doobie and I have some kind of a connection. He was one of the pups that we bottle fed, and he had pneumonia. I'm like He's gone, or he's not going to make it. And he's one of my most driven dogs. This is Etta. She's actually another one of the pups, Doobie's sister. This is Hawkeye, he's a handsome guy. This is Exxon. He's ready to go. This is Peggy, this is Maple, little sweetie. This is Buck, uh, Doobie and Muddy and Etta's oh. brother. Buck's a big baby. This is Muddy, he's another one of the pups. He's really nasty. Like, very twitchy. They're just intense. I think about that some days when I'm sitting out there with 20 dogs running around. I was like, you know what? If these guys decided they wanted to eat me, they could. You know, they definitely have me outweighed and outnumbered. Exxon. Yeah. This is Exxon. He's kind of the alpha male of the dog yard. <laughs> dogs like to have order in their lives. You've got to keep it together yourself because if you start to lose it, everything's going to fall apart. We'll have eight dog team on here. It'll be an easy run for them. It's a lot of energy in the air. Getting ready to go. Before the dogs go out on the run, they're absolutely chomping at the bit. They cannot wait to get out and run. But the second you hit the trail with them, everything quiets down. They're calm.
pretty intense. You go up, up, up the hills really slowly, and then all of a sudden you go down really fast. It's like a roller coaster. And they're much calmer now. I think happier. <laughs> Get that energy out. Yeah, if I could be more like them. Well, I kind of grew up here and strayed too far, I guess. I really like winter. <laughs> Next time we see you, it'll be 2009. So happy holidays, everyone. And we'll get stuck and rock with you again in 2009. <laughs> so many things to pee on. Oh, sorry. <laughs> this has to be Exxon back here. He is checking me out. <laughs> This semester I'm teaching a class on globalization and pirates. I think Burlington College is different from other schools in the sense that it's smaller, classes are smaller, students and teachers can get to know each other better, and there's this kind of individualized seminar-based class experience which is really nice and really unique.